Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Saturday of the second week of Advent and the memorial of Pope St. Damasus. We offer this holy sacrifice of the Mass for the following intentions. For the souls of Raul, Eli, Elsa, Calixta, Luis Sr., Antonio, Felicissimo, Angela, Marcelo, Francisca, Glenn, Philip, Ramon, Rodi, Ian, Perla, Rosa, Luz, Paquita, Teodoro, Verissimo Senor, and Irene. Thanksgiving for the gift of life given to Kenji T. For the souls of Aurora, Lodovico, Florentina, Barbara, Dolores, Patricia, Leona, Simeon, Ingracia, Alfredo. For the gift of life given to Salve Gadampa. For the healing of Derli Campoto. For the souls of Simplicia, Teodora, Manuel, Eusebio, Wilfredo, Kobe, Jensi, Norman, Eleanor, Diego Senior, Sopronio, Maria, Anita, Ingracia, Jan, Jose, Lani, Ineroso, Juan, Juana, Marcelo, Rulito, Ines, Norma, William, Enrique, Julio, for the healing of Jean, Lara, Ivy, and April, and for the good health of Nilda Barredo and Elsa Lara. Our Mass sponsors for today are Seminarian Christian Nonoy, Sabino and Family, Seminarian Willard Kyle T. and Family. Let us adore the Most Holy Trinity in this Holy and Divine Liturgy to be presided by Reverend Monsignor Pedro Quitorio III. Together with the people of God, let us all stand and sing the entrance hymn. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be always with you. And with your spirit. Brother, brothers, and sisters, we gather together today to praise and thank God for his greatness as we await with penitential hearts the coming of our Lord Jesus, the birth of the Son of God. To prepare ourselves, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for his mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy in us. Forgive us all our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. May the splendor of your glory 
dawn in our hearts, we pray, Almighty God, that all shadows of the night may be scattered and we may be shown to be children of light by the advent of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. In those days, like a fire there appeared the prophet Elijah, whose words were as flaming furnace. Their staff of bread he shattered. In his zeal he reduced them to streets. By the Lord's word he shut up the heavens, and three times brought down fire. How awesome are you, Elijah, in your wondrous deeds! whose glory is equal to yours. You were taken aloof in a worldwide fire, in a chariot with fairy horses. You were disdained, it is written, in times to come, to put an end to wrath before the day of the Lord, to turn back the hearts of the Father towards their sons, and to reestablish the tribes of Jacob. Blessed is he who shall have seen you, and you falls asleep in your friendship. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken from your throne upon the cherubim. Shine forth and rouse your power. Lord, Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted. The Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Response. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. May your help be with the man of your right hand. With the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong then we will no more withdraw from you. Give us new life, and we will call upon your name. Response. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. And with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As they were coming down from the mountain, the disciples asked Jesus, Why do the scribes say that Elijah must come first? And he said in reply, Elijah will indeed come and restore all things. 
But I tell you that Elijah has already come. And they did not recognize him and did to him whatever they pleased. So also will the Son of Man suffer at their hands. Then the disciples understood that he was talking to them about John the Baptist. The Gospel of the Lord. The disciples, like you and me, were had so many questions in their mind. They, had, they were not certain, actually. In fact, you will see each one of the 12 and the 72 disciples may kanya-kanyang agenda. May kanya-kanyang agenda. May kanya-kanyang ambisyon. To put it that way. Tulad natin. Tulad ng mga seminarista. May kanya-kanyang agenda. Hindi yung agenda na kagustuhan ng Diyos. And so, there were two brothers even who went to Jesus with the mother. Hindi lahat ang agenda. Kino, oh, pag, pag nakapuro ko ka na, it nga, duduha nga anak, paling ko rahit imutuungan wala. Imu ang nga imu mga cabinet secretary. That was the agenda. Here in the gospel today, the disciples were confused because they were hearing it from the scribes who were saying that may da maabot to restore all things. When you, when you say to restore all things, to save us, to erase all suffering. Because for them, salvation was to delete all sufferings. That you won't experience pain anymore. That, that was what, more or less what they were looking for. Isaiah, Elijah rather, who will restore all things. And when you mean restore, to restore it from the original innocence. Maybe in the Garden of Eden to restore us because they were, at that time, they were under the, the clutches of the Roman Empire and they were suffering. They were suffering. You know what the Lord answered them? He said, yeah, it is true. Elijah will come to restore all things. But you know what? Inabut na. He already came. And sister, they did not recognize him. Wara hir sabot. Igini baluknis. They did not recognize him. He already came and did whatever they wanted to do with him as they pleased. And then he added, This will be what they will do also to the Son of Man. He will suffer in their hands. They will reject him. They will reject him. And true. Wara pangani katatapos sa historia. Dito pala hay Jetsaman in the Dudlaga ni Rangatanan. You see? After three years of formation, three years that the Lord was with them, they saw what did He did, miracles and all. They heard what He said, all these beautiful words, but in front of the cross, they all ran away. Nagdadlagan. Nagdadlagan. Maybe it's also true to you, to us. After about four years of formation here, when the demands of the faith comes in front of you, dadlagang kita. Ayun na kita hiton. They all run away. That would be very frustrating. Diba? Kabanhaw niya. Kabanhaw niya. May daluduha nga apostolis, di pagkaduha imaos who were talking. They were so frustrated. Sabi na sila niya, sayang. Kwarta na sana, naging bato pa. We thought that it would be good for us, but he died. How can God die? How can he die? So that's like an criticism to Duterte. He was saying, this is not a God. Why will he be crucified if he is a God? The same, the same. The same heresy. And so they were so frustrated because they did not recognize him because by kanya kita, kanya kanya kita na agenda. All of us will have the same agenda. 
That's why when the, when the real thing comes, we don't see because we are colored with our agenda. Because what we think, the one who will come will be from the Davidic tribe. Since David is a king, he will come as a king full of pomp and glory. Makari, mag, uh, magpaparada, appropriate inabot nga kandidato yung pagka-presidente. May na mga motor nga bayaran. <laughs> he will be welcome to everybody, but he did not come like that. He will become very small. In fact, in the gospel the other day, he will come very small. Unlike John the Baptist, who was the greatest in the kingdom, in, in word of a woman, I mean, but this one is the least. Is the least. He will be the smallest. If you expect that you become, you want to become a priest to be the greatest of all, well, you are mistaken. You are barking of the wrong tree. Because if you want to be great, for God's sake, be a senator, be a congressman, be a governor, not a priest, not a seminarian. Asyainan mga ambisyon ng mga apostolis. That's why Pagabutan did not recognize him. They all ran away. The word is so clear. Elijah has already come to restore all things, but they did not recognize him. Instead, they did what they wanted to do with him. Instead, an era agenda, an era karuyag, nga mahinabuhan nga kinabuhi. This is our difficulty. Because we have redefined life itself. With all that we see around us, we have changed the reality. Ha TikTok, iba na reality. There are two kinds of reality. The reality that is real and the reality that is filtered. And you always want the filtered reality because nagiging guapo ka. Ha TikTok, because you filter it. Diba? Filtered reality. Ito hindi rin guapo, mag TikTok la. Paggawas ni mo, guapo ka na. Because of the filter. Sige, talinguhan niyo. At hindi niya nga diri mga medyo kaaya-aya ang mukha. <laughs> Yung bang nahirapan ang nanay sa panganganak? Kasi pwersado ang mukha. <laughs> pwersado. Gamit in TikTok, filter it. This is what happened to them. They did not see the reality. Ang mga apostolis did not see and it happened to us because right now we are expecting Christmas. We are expecting the birth of Christ. Pero hindi nga Kristo. Bagyan ang Kristo habulangan. Not the Christ who is the least of them all. Not the Christ who is willing to be the last and the least of them all. Who is willing to lose his life so that he will find it. It's not an expectation at Christmas. It's not nga. Sige, um, uh, ano daw lahat ako ni Regalo. I, mean, I was looking last night at a documentary about, about Filipinos in Hong Kong. Uh, there's a documentary, I think the, the, the title is Sunday Beauties. Uh, I was looking at a parent, he was, he was crying because the same thing, just to change a little bit the story. He was, she was crying because in Christmas, or any may have had a good idea of the Pana Man or a regalo. You know, see, they look at Christmas as pera, quarta. That's why they will be willing to leave behind their children to find money because for them, Christmas is money. But it is not. Because you have seen a lot of people, a lot of children with so many devices and Christmas. Why? Iginihibaluknes. They don't meet the real Christmas. They don't see the real Christmas. Because the real Christmas is actually trying to receive Jesus like Mary to allow the baby Jesus to be conceived in the womb of the Blessed Mother and to be born in her womb. For us, it should be that the baby Jesus will be conceived in our hearts as we expect him to come. And let be born in our hearts so that whatever we do will come from our hearts. And if Jesus is in your heart, whatever we do will come from that Jesus in your heart. Pero it imu heart yana, medyo iba it direction. Ibait kina hanglan. Ibait kina hanglan. This is the reason why we wanted that you experience today, mamaya at 9 o'clock, we'll be having a gift giving to the poorest of the poor. 
makanihira about a hundred of them. It's precisely because of that to show you ano ba talaga kuya? Christmas is not about receiving. It's about giving. But giving can be defined in so many ways. You can give like a philanthropist does, like Bill Gates, philanthropist. Dear Cristiano, but he gives. But that giving has a very human agenda. You can give like a politician. When you give, kinahanglan may bawi. May bawi. I give you this, but vote for me. It Cristiano nga paghatag waray all that he that he expects is the joy of having the presence of Christ in our heart bear fruit. Because the fruit of Christ in your heart is to give. The fruit of your prayer every day here is to give. The fruit of celebrating the Mass is to give. It's charity. Ano it gamit pag pinangadi ikon? Di ba? Pinalulupakan ka na todo, pinangadi, pero wala man bunga. The fruit of that is relationships. It's to love one another. To give to your brother. If you are like that, then you know who is coming. You know what Christmas is all about. Sayang naman. Iba ha iyo. Eh ako, manadamo na Christmas. Hindi ko na maisip. May hap. Kasi kamo, mga 18 years na Christmas na niyo na experience. Iba ha iyo, mga 17 years na Christmas. Pero amo lagi at natin ka rautla. Because of a wrong mindset. Hindi tama nga mindset. Sana di rin mahinabu ang isisiring ang Ibanghelyo yan na. Ang isisiring ni Kristo. He already came, but they did not recognize Him. Christmas came 18 years already for many of you. 17 years of there. But when it comes, you don't recognize it. Because we are bothered, filtered with the trimmings of Christmas. The lights and the food that filters the real meaning of Christmas. Nawawara itong kahulugan. Food does not make you happy, neither lights, neither the gifts. What makes us happy really is the presence of God in our lives. Because with that, you get the real meaning of happiness. Diri nala skin deep, diri nala externals, but deeper right at the very roots of our life of our lives. And the root of this is that baby that will be born. Let's sing the offertory song. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly. 
to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplished for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, as he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of the human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all at last is made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we now acclaim. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. For by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Crispin our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to life eternal, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. 
that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, peace I give you. Look not on our sins, on our sinfulness, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us from our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly be seated. Um, this is regarding our day at 9 o'clock today, our giving. 
Uh, we have identified 100 poor people around here, Sabang and Songko, will be coming at 9 o'clock. And we will give to them whatever we have from our hearts. So, ang kwarta nga nati rok, tikang ita iyo. Didahan iyo mga collections and iyo offerings. Tikang han uh, Christ the King Sunday, I think. And until last Sunday. Uh, I think inabot hin mga 9,000 or so, or more. More. Kaya may dapat nagdugang, ha iyo. May dapat nagdugang na pahabol hin additional amount from you. Tapos may dapat nag donate iyo ng mga in-kind, in-kind. Of course, may da iyo mga friends na iyo gin aruan nakadugang-dugang. Okay? So, this is very important. Like I was saying at the homily, this is the fruit of our formation. Your fruit of your formation is not at the degree that you will learn philosophy because that is, in the end, will not bring you to heaven. This one will. Bisa nga pa mag-extension it imo na una. May himo kayo extension na about philosophy. But that has to be bear fruit in, in charity. Okay? So this is the fruit of your formation. Uh, let me ask you, when you give, hinut na bubuligan. Can you answer that? For example, Lina, who will be helped? You know. Huh? Jesus Christ, the wallet with Jesus Christ, you know, go to nga bubuligan niyo. Busog na iti, hindi iti as masakit nga wag binuligan. Hinot na bubuligan niyo kung nahatag ka mo. Ano yun na, hinot na bubuligan niyo. You know? Mga kablas, right? Do you agree? Yes, right? Rest. Wrong. Wrong. If you binubuligan, hika mo. Because when you give, you cure, like the gospel is saying, your paralysis. Nga tanan kita paralytic. Our paralysis is our hands. Pero pinasiring. That selfishness is our big paralysis. So when you give, you begin to open your hands. So the first beneficiary of your charity is you. Itong mga philanthropists like Bill Gates, it is a beneficiary when I give, it is a beneficiary. A Christian, when you give, it is you. Why? Because the presence of God in your life nagiging kamatuuran, nagiging real. Okay, so don't ever think na mamaya paghatag niyo kay Ronira, iba itong mga philanthropists, kay Ronira, mabuligan tayo ra. No, kay Ronim. <laughs> so practice that. When you go home, give. So that it imo paralysis, magtika abrima. You know, you can be yourself. Our greatest pain is greed. Our greatest injustice, ginhimu ni satanas, is to make us greedy. Because when you are greedy, you are miserable. Kinita na kami ng tao nga greedy nga malipayon. Waray pa ako kita. Paralytic ito. Paralytic. May paralysis. So, unina, bisan ko nito ha iyo at ha klase, bear that in mind. At least, ala akong igin hatag, ala akong mga sobre na igin offer ato na. It is helping me to become a Christian. To become charitable. Continue with that. Because what will make you happy is not any other thing. What will make you happy is in your heart, right there. Just open it, and you will be happy. Diri external si tumaka kalipa na kalipa yai mo. Diri hia, diri hia, diri diri tawit na kalipa yai mo. Diska daw tagan hindi duha ngagisang kain ni mo. Diri iton lumalabay la iton. What will make you happy? Na aturit imo kasing kasing. Just open it, and you will be happy. Gets? Yes. Let us understand. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless all of you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass ascended. Let us all go in peace.
Thanks be to God.